Thank you. Welcome back, audience. We are here with Ted Thomas. He is the king of tax lien certificates and deeds. Ted, let's get right into it. Ted, can you review for my students what a tax lien certificate is? Okay, so folks, in the United States, everybody has a property tax. It comes from the old days of having a wealth tax. All right, simply said, if you own a piece of property, you have to pay taxes. All right, now it's very low. It's only one or 2% in most states, but New York, New York, New Jersey, California, it's a little higher than that. But the point is, Everybody has to pay tax. Unfortunately, people get sick. People go to the hospital. You know, they might have had COVID. Maybe they lost a job. So they don't pay the tax. If they don't pay the tax, the county has a, a, has a job. They have to collect money because you got to pay the firemen. you got to pay the police department. you got to pay for the school teacher. So they have to collect property tax. All right. Mm -hmm. So in a tax lien state like Florida, what they'll do is they'll send you a notice and they'll slap your hand and say, you have to pay your tax. Now, they don't throw you out of the house. You stay in the house. However, you have a tax lien. So you and I can go pay someone else's taxes. That's what a tax lien is. Now, why would we pay someone else's taxes? Because the county will pay us in Florida all the way up to 18%. Now in the bank, you make 1%. That's it. Wow. Okay. But wow. in a tax lien certificate, you can go all the way up to 18%. In other states, they pay 24%. Texas pays 25%. Illinois pays 36 So you can buy this any place you want. And we'll teach you how to do it on a computer. So that's what tax liens are. Now, tax defaulted property, every state sells those. Now, they, what happens there is that people didn't pay the tax. So the county, they're not so benevolent. They are not nice. They go right to those people. And you can't see my foot, but I'm giving them the boot right now. I'm giving them the boot. <laughs> they kick those people out. They're out. Yeah. All right. Now, what is the county going to do with the property? Well, here's what, the, what you're going to really like. They're going to sell those properties for 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents on the dollar. I bought colonial houses in New York on a credit card for 30 cents on the dollar. Now, you won't believe it, but I'll show you pictures later. All right, so here's the point. So a tax defaulted property is where the entrepreneur wants to be because you can buy with 60, 70, 80% discount. So think of the margin. You got a $100,000 house and you just paid 30 grand for it. You'd take as many of those as you could get. All right, so the right? point is all that margin's yours. So that's yeah. where the tax lien's in. That's the, yeah. that's the business. Yeah. Unbelievable, oh right? It is unbelievable. Okay. So I think I understand tax lien certificates. Okay. Most clients have never heard of tax lien certificates. Is this available in every state? No, no. Tax lien certificates are only in half of the states. Now, those states okay. are very benevolent. Okay. So Florida, they got a lot of old people. So they're kind of benevolent. Old people get it. All right. So those people, <laughs> if they get behind, they give them a little time. They say, all right, now, wait a minute. You got a whole two years. They don't kick them out of the house. They just leave them there and they say, look, you got time, but you got to pay the tax. If you don't pay the tax, we're going to take your house. But the local government doesn't take your house in Florida because we buy all the certificates. If we buy a certificate and the people don't pay, we get the property without a mortgage. Now, I didn't make the rules. I'm just bringing you the message. We get the house if those people don't pay. Nice, wow. huh? That is very nice. Okay, so Ted, I have my real estate license in two states. I have my mortgage license. Why, has not, why hasn't my broker told me about this? Okay, now let's not badmouth brokers because they're working hard, hard working people. But here's the problem. You see, the brokers don't know about this. The attorneys know about it. And if they know about it, they're happy to tell you about it, but they're going to have to charge you for that. You mm. see, with a tax lien and tax deed, brokers can't make any money. Now, the only way a broker makes money, as you know, is you got to sell something. All right? right. So they can't make any money. So they're not going to talk about tax liens or deeds. All right. It's going to be the same thing with the, anybody that's involved in real estate. It's not going to talk about tax liens and deeds. There are no competitors with brokers or people that are in the business. Why? Because they can't earn any commissions. There's no commission wow. for those guys. Right. That's why they oh haven't God. told you. Right. Now, a stock okay. broker, if you want to buy stocks, you're going to buy stocks, but they're going to get a commission. All right. right. So if they want to buy, do this business, they can't do it because there's no commissions. Right. So it's, That's it's why a, your stock broker is not talking about. So our real estate brokers aren't talking about it. Mortgage brokers, all of the different investments people aren't really talking about it because they don't earn a commission on this. Exactly. Exactly. Got it. Oh, my Amazing, gosh. Right? Okay. Mind blown. Yeah. Okay. Most of my clients are in the United States, but. Some of them are not. I have this worldwide reach now. No one's right. kind of blowing up. Can, can you do this out if you don't live in the United States? Yes, you can. But you have to have an American, a USA bank account. Because okay. you see, the county here 
only understands dollars. So if you're in right. France, I have clients in France, I have them in Mexico City, I have them okay. in Bangkok, Thailand, I have them in Australia. They have to get, there has to be an American bank because the counties only understand dollars here. So, but yeah. you can do that. I have, I have clients in Canada, United Kingdom, Mexico City, uh, France, um, London, um, Australia. I've got them all over the world that yeah. do this online. I had a guy, I won't go through the whole story now because it'll take too long. I had a guy from Hong Kong. Now we're recording this in the last part of October in 2021. Okay. Yeah. Within the last 10 days, 20 days, from Hong Kong, the client bought eight properties, eight yeah. properties yeah. in Michigan yeah. online. Wow. Literally, I just bought a, a, a lot from a Chinese national. And I, so I, I get it. Oh, my gosh. All right. Okay, Ted. So what should I buy? Should I buy tax lien certificates or should I buy tax defaulted? properties. Okay. Now tax certificates are the safest, most lucrative investment in America today. Safest. Here's why. You can't buy them from me. You can't buy them from Noel. You're going to buy them directly from the county. So you're going to give your money to the government. Now you own that certificate. 97% of all those certificates, the people will come in and pay. So you're going to get all your money back plus the high interest rate. So that's a safe, secure investment. So I tell people it's predictable. It's certain it's secure. Conservative investment, you got a little gray hair like me, well, then you want to probably be very conservative. If you're an entrepreneur, now you want to buy tax deeds because those properties are defaulted property. Now, keep in mind, they're a little abused, a little uh, used and abused, I like to say. Okay, so yeah. maybe some fix up required, whatever. So those properties have been confiscated. They're owned by the government. Like that client that I just mentioned from Hong Kong, he bought the properties directly from the government. So he gave the money to the government. He got a deed for the property. He gets the deed right away. So you buy that property. It has no mortgage. And the start, starting bid is somewhere between 5, 10, 15, 20 cents on the dollar. That's the starting bid. If it goes above that, it's because someone in the room built that. So if you had a property <laughs> worth 100000 the starting yeah. bid is going to be 10000 uh, Some people are going to pay 20 Some people 30 Whatever they're going to pay. The margin is all yours. It's all yours. Every single auction. Wow. wow. Okay, so should I buy the big ones or the small ones? Well, I'm going to tell people to start small. I like to, I'm a, I'm a conservative okay. investor, quite frankly. Now, <laughs> I buy me. using credit cards <laughs> and buy all over the country, but, you know, start out with one. I've got a guy uh, up here in Georgia just started out, and uh, he was really, really nervous. He's a writer. He writes uh, for a living, and he actually works in the Georgia prison system. He's a, he's a, um, a preacher man, and he he works in the prison system. He teaches Islam and Christianity. And he said, Teddy, I want to do this. So I said, all right, go to their local place, get the list of the properties. He did. And so sure enough, he came up with a property. Now, I've never done, I've never done this well myself. He bought a property for $316. Now, that's you won't believe it, but I'm going to show you pictures over here in a minute. He bought a property for $316, and it's worth about $35,000. All right. It's just a nice little house, a little two-bedroom, one-bath house. And, uh, and I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, it's going to auction. And so um, he heads down there to the auction and um, there's nobody else there. There's nobody else. It's two, two bedroom, one bedroom, nobody else there. So he's afraid to bid. So he calls me up and says, there's nobody here. I said, well, great, just buy it. He bought a house for $316, $316. This is amazing. What? So he buys this house, he calls me back. And he said, I got it. And I said, okay, good. What are you going to do with it? He said, oh, I don't know. I said, why don't you sell it? Now, the house was probably worth 35 or 50 grand. It wasn't fancy, little house. And he said, oh, I don't want to sell it. I want to own stuff. I said, okay, well, then you're going to rent it. So the people in the neighborhood said, you should rent it for 700 bucks a month. He only paid 300. Rent it for 700. So this young guy came. He said, look, I'm going to school. My dad gave me enough money for rent for the whole year. I'll give you $6,000 if you'll let me have your house for the whole year, just renting it, not buying it. So he paid 316 and he rented it for 6,000 bucks for the year. So if you want a little deal, I would start out with little deals. If you want to do big deals, I'd do two or three. Now, earlier in our first video, the people I showed you made over $100,000. I have people regularly, we only teach you to make 25 and $50,000. We're not going to teach you to make five and tens. We don't do that. I've been doing the same thing for 30 years, and I'm not going to teach you how to make five and 10. We're going to teach you how to get enough money because you see 
you're going to buy at the back taxes and you want to pick the properties have some margin. So if right. you paid, if you paid 30 cents on the dollar, you want to think about it, buy low, be like a wholesaler, buy low, sell low, fast, buy low, right. sell low, fast. Wow. Right. You're in and out. Buy no low, fix up. Sell low, that? fast. I love yes. it. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is just so good. I, I have so many questions. I'm sorry. Is it okay that I yeah, might well, we can take our time. Not to worry. We'll do, a, we'll do a lot of this. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. So I know we discussed it earlier that all of this could be done online. So I can find right. the properties online. I can do it online. But can I go to an auction? Are there lots of people there? Is it big? Oh, Tell me about yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Well, going to the auction is the fun part. That's for me. Now, I'm an old school guy. When I started out 30 years ago, we had to drive to the county just to get the list. <laughs> By the way, remind me to show you a list. I'll show you a couple of lists in a minute. All right. So, okay. so uh, I drive to, I get the list and then I'd go look at the properties and then I'd go to the auction. Now, there's small counties, which is what I recommend, by the way, small counties, you okay. have 20 to 50 people at one of these auctions. If you go to Los Angeles, now I've been in Los Angeles at the auction and the auction will start and they're going to have 2000 properties. For example, this is a list from Los Angeles. That's a list of all the properties. That auction started early in the morning. And if you can snap your fingers, every time you snap your finger, they will sell a property. That's how bad. The room will have 2000 people. Okay. 2,000 people okay. in the room. That's how big these auctions are. Now, small auctions like Seattle, Tacoma, uh, places like that, or you go up around San Francisco Bay Area, those auctions are going to have 100 to 150 people. That's really okay. manageable. So okay. if you like to go to auctions, there's plenty of those. Now, here's what the county's trying to do. They're trying to get everything online because it's easier for them. All right. right. You have to be careful if you're an online buyer. So let me just give you some words of caution right now. Don't buy anything that you haven't seen the property. In other words, boots on the ground. If you don't have boots on the ground, yours or someone you know, don't buy it. Because I don't know whether there was a fire. I don't know if there was a windstorm. I don't know what could have happened, but something right. could have happened. So, because when you buy, when you give them the money, you're not going to get it back. You're going to give right. it to them. They don't, they don't do refunds. So you need to have looked at the property. So that's my word of caution. But, you know, we teach classes on this, so you, you won't have to worry about that by the time you get there. So, okay. so I either way, it. if you want to go to small ones, great. If you want to go big ones, you can, it's going to be up to you. I start small, and then I grow. But you, you'll never run out. This is a business of abundance. Been around for 200 years. It's not going away. It'll always be here. I love it. Okay, Ted. So which is better? You know, is it better to go to... Miami, you know, or another big city or county, or is it better to do a small town in Arizona? Okay, I would say do a small town in any state because okay. you're only going to have a few properties, give you time to absorb what's going on and watch what's happening. Uh, if you go to a big place, uh, well, for example, I'll show, I'll, I'll show you some of those right now. That, okay, now you guys can read the, the header. It says Miami Times, okay? This is a list of tax lien certificates. Now, wait till I open it up, okay? I'm just going to flip one page open this way. This is a list of tax lien certificates. There is only 65,000 on this list. 65,000. Now, you wouldn't believe me, but let me just go wow. to the last page. When I get to the last page, stay on camera two for me, if you will. Stay on camera two so I can go to the last page. And I'm almost there. Give me a second. Go to the last page, and you can read right here. 90, 98 pages of tax lien certificate. That's one auction. Now stay right there and I'm gonna give you some more. So those were tax liens. Now let me go over to my other desk and I'll show you tax defaulted property, except I'll take you to another community. All right, now we're gonna to go to, as you can see, this is the real deal. This is the, the real stuff. This is mm -hmm. a tax lien list from Sullivan County, New York. Mm -hmm. And you can see 235 properties available. And these are all pictures of the property. Wow. I just downloaded this online before we came here. And so I can look at all this before I have a go. Here's all the stuff. There's no guesswork. Wow. You can know all of this before you go to the auction. Wow. Remember, I said 235 probably. 200. Wow. That's just one auction. Yeah. Every county has at least one auction a year. There's over 3,000 counties in the United States. Right. I mean, you okay, can so go to what auction. What is the maximum? Okay, sir. Sure. So what is the maximum number of tax lien certificates that are available? Oh, just in Florida, it's a million certificates just in Florida. Oh, it's too many to count. Really? It's one million just in the state of Florida. So it won't matter where you go. You, you, 
And so other states will be the same way. So uh, there's tax liens and there's tax deeds. Now remember, the tax deeds are the properties. The tax liens are just a piece of paper. There's a difference gotcha. between the two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you kind of, and this is amazing. Kidding, okay, yeah. so Ted, Ted, I heard you say earlier that the minimum payment in Georgia was 20%. Is that true? Uh, okay, it sure is. Now, I'm going to have to button this video up in a second, but let me just give you briefly on Georgia. So just watch me for a second. When you're in Georgia, Georgia has 169 counties. Oh, my God. That means there's 169 auctions every month if they want to have them. Wow. There's more auctions okay. than you could ever believe. So if the county okay. has something they want to sell, they can have an auction. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when you buy in Georgia, watch my hands now. When you buy in Georgia, you buy on this day. Now, that's such a clock going tick, tick, tick like that, like 60 minutes, okay? All right, so when you buy any day, any day up until day 365 that they come in and pay, they have to give you back all of your money plus 20%. So any day they come in, you make a minimum of 20 So there's no way you can make less than 20% in Georgia. So whatever you wow. invest, you can make 20%. Now, listen to this. On day 365, you could foreclose but if you're my student, I don't want you to foreclose. Let it go over to day 366. And on day 366, you don't make 20% anymore. Now you make 30%. 30% and what? your check comes from the government. Doesn't come from me, it comes from the government. Yeah. Wow. So Ted, let me ask this. So why would anyone buy tax lien certificates when they could buy tax deeds? Okay, why would anyone buy tax lien certificates? Because tax lien certificates give you a, an, an assured rate. So if you buy gotcha. a tax lien certificate for 18%, you're going to make 18% that year. Now, 1% okay. of the bank, 18%. You go to Georgia, you'll only get, you'll get at least 20% for every single year. So that's why people buy those. But your clients, your clients, they want to make more than that. So they want to go and buy a $100,000 property for 20 cents on the dollar, and they want yeah. all that margin. They want all that margin. Now, we have to take a break, folks, because we're going to run out of time. But listen, I'm going to do an all-day class on this. So if you like what you hear, when I finish this video, go below and register for that class. Now, it's normally 97 bucks. This is a six-hour class. Starts at 11, runs to 5. 95% of you, I guarantee, will still be there at the end of the six hours. Because I know I've been doing this class for years. I've been doing the same thing for 30 years. All right, now, we're coming right back, and we're going to do video number three. So we'll be back tomorrow. So don't forget us. And we'll be back tomorrow. I came across Ted Thomas material sometime in July of last year. And it was just really good timing because we were just about a time looking for something with greater returns. Uh, something that will give us more time to spend uh, with family and enjoy our family more while uh, you know being able to live the life we've always dreamed of. Because I attended Ted's three-day workshop I knew that LA has a two-day auction. What happens is whatever they don't sell on the first day they sell half price on the second day and that is how we ended up with our lot. Uh, we paid $14,000 uh, for a lot that was assessed, I believe, 210000 You more than doubled our money. 